Tapnum. I want to show you how I lit this interview in a pretty small space, the client's living room, with budget gear, and got results like this. Hi, my name is Gabby Demick, and I'm a full-time realtor with the Jim Black Group, brokered by Real, based right here in Central Massachusetts. I finally decided, after a few years as an engineer, to make the jump into full-time real estate in 2018. As a former engineer, I like shooting content like this, where it's these brand interviews, sometimes it's for documentaries, just telling these types of stories, these Netflix-style interview shots. But I'm still early in my filmmaking and content creating career, so I don't have the biggest budget or the most gear. And I know there's other people like that out there, so I want to show you how you can still get really good results, even without the big expensive cinema gear. Now, I am shooting on the a7 IV, so it's not necessarily the cheapest or a budget camera, but try this with whatever camera you have. All right, so step one was finding where I'm going to put the camera, how I'm going to shoot, what direction, how to best utilize the room. Now, ideally, in a small space, I would rather be shooting into the corner to make it look bigger. If we did shoot in a corner where that big window was, there was a doorway very close to that wall, so it didn't really look good on camera. So I decided to use the window to my advantage, use that almost like a backlight and a backdrop at the same time, and shoot directly towards the window. Now, in order to not have everything blown out completely, I knew I had to use an ND filter. Luckily, I brought it, put a couple of stops of ND on as much as my variable filter will go. That way I can shoot directly towards the window without blowing out the highlights and still have that cinematic blurry background without having to worry about bumping up my aperture too much. Everything I used is going to be listed in the description below. If you could help a small channel out, click a link or two. Doesn't cost you anything extra, don't worry. And while you're down there, there's a like and subscribe button somewhere is what I'm told. But anyway, next thing was to set up the main light, the key light. So I was using the small rig 120D. It's the most powerful light that I have. I knew I couldn't use a 60 watt light as the main light source because of the ND filter on there. So I still needed to push some good light. The 120D worked out great. Did exactly what I needed it to do. I had a 36 inch soft box on there as well. You want that as close to your subject as you can to get the softest light possible. Now, issue number two that we ran into over here. If you look closely at the window, you can see the reflection of the softbox right there in the window. And to me, that just did not look professional at all. I knew I had to find a fix for that. The solution was to raise the light taller, higher, but my light stands, it didn't go any higher. So yes, number one, I know now I need to buy new light stands. But what we did was we just put the light stand that I had on her kitchen table, on her coffee table to raise the light up and it worked. Luckily, she's a friend, so it wasn't like, hey, Client, can I borrow your coffee table? Once that light was looking good, the room was still just a little bit too dark, especially with the ND filter on there. So I brought in the SL60W, pointed it directly at the ceiling, which were nice white ceilings to bounce the light everywhere and kind of fill up the rest of the room. The last thing that was needed just to get rid of some of the shadow on her side was to add a small silver reflector opposite of the key light. And for sound, I use the same microphone I'm using right now, the Comica VM30. It's a wireless shotgun microphone, she had dogs going back and forth, so it was just helpful to know there was one less wire on the floor. I used my Andy Cine monitor facing her, so that way she could see herself in the video and kind of get an idea of how she looked, how the setup was looking, all that. Something I would change for next time shooting like this, I would love to pull her away from the window a little bit, so that way we can create a little bit more depth back there. Maybe have that plant a little bit more blurred out. An ND filter that was a little bit stronger would have been more helpful, but at the end of the day, that's stuff that we notice as videographers. The client loved the final product. We got some B-roll to go with it, so that way it wasn't just her talking to the camera, but she loved it. I'm really happy with the results, and hopefully it's going to help bring in more clients, and I can do more of this type of work.